Hello everyone and welcome back to our nine month ultimate world cruise adventure. And today we have huge news and we need your help. Please <laughs> welcome to Living Phase Two. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Nancy. And we're empty nesters striving to live life to the fullest. And we're living that full life aboard Royal Caribbean's nine-month ultimate world cruise on Saturday to the Seas. We sure are. Well, friends, we've had a big itinerary change. And we've had itinerary changes in the past. We have not been able to tender into the Falkland Islands. Mm -hmm. We missed getting to go to Ecuador. Right, um, right. And, you know, we expected some itinerary changes mm -hmm. but boy this is a doozy and mm -hmm. so we're, we're asking for your help and your input on on things for us to do because now we are going around Africa yes. why don't we back up a little bit Mike and tell them what what all has happened here with with us going around Africa right well much like what happened in you know you go all the way back even before we got on the ship um, Russia and the Ukraine were taken off the itinerary mm -hmm. and then after we got on the ship very unfortunately uh, Israel was taken off off. And so we've had a few reroutes, like Nancy said, that uh, uh, we've had to think about. But now with the conflict that's going on in the Red Sea, where ships are being actually attacked, they, Royal Caribbean and other cruise lines are no longer going to be sending ships through the Red Sea, at least for the foreseeable future. Right. They have to make that choice now to start rerouting us. So if many of you remember, our cruise is broken up into four segments. So we went on the Ultimate Americas. We just finished that up. We're on our way through the Pacific right now, which now we're on the Asian leg. Mm -hmm. The leg in the middle was called the Ultimate Middle East. Well, that's what's changing. So without being able to go from Mumbai, or some of you may know that is still as Bombay, and go up to Dubai, then we were going to go into the Red Sea. Well, what we were going to see there was we were going to go to Petra. We were going to see the pyramids, uh, all the Greek islands, and uh, going into Turkey and the Black Sea, etc. That part now is being replaced with we're going to be going down and around Africa from Dubai and then circling around. And really, it's for our safety. It's so that we don't take that chance in going through the Red Sea. We want to say right up front, we're thrilled with this. We're, we're excited yes. because, yeah. We, yeah, we're going to see a lot of things that we would never, have, probably never in our lifetime have the opportunity to see. Yeah, absolutely. And some of you may not realize that, that haven't been following us closely, Royal Caribbean, when this came up, actually gave us a choice. <laughs> so they put it to a vote of all the passengers, the world cruisers and segment cruisers that had that segment three. They put it to a vote. That we get, They gave us five days to vote on an option one that is immersive. Of Africa. It has many more stops or a just get around Africa and get us back up on track as fast as possible. The second option too would allow us still a stop in Alexandria to see the pyramids and a quick stop in Istanbul and then back on track through the Greek islands. Many, many more Greek islands in that. Option one, as we said, was very immersive going around Africa, but we basically miss everything and we get back on track at Corfu if you are following our itinerary and from Corfu in we we yeah mm -hmm. in Corfu Greece and then we get back on uh, over to uh, Venice and then we start going back into the ultimate Europe leg at that point so real quickly why don't we tell you what uh, we voted and option one was selected, selected and that's the, that's what they call the immersive African experience and so mm -hmm. this is where we're going to hit many more ports and this is where we're going to need your help, friends. Right, but, but exactly. But you go through the ports, Mike? Right. Uh, one thing I do want to mention real quick, because some of you may ask this, Royal Caribbean, because of this changes, is actually covering all visas, and mm -hmm. some of these countries do require a yellow fever vaccine, which we fortunately have already had, mm -hmm. uh, but they're going to give it on board. And if you already had it, like we do, they're actually going to reimburse us yeah, for it. Like the Royal Caribbean's doing everything they can to make, a, you know. I, I think they're being very generous. Yes, yes. Uh, and so they're they even are giving us a, a partial refund, right? Because uh, of this itinerary for this change, segment. yeah. Because right, of the change, so yeah. They're, they're being very 
um, generous and, and doing everything they can to, because they know that a lot of people went on this cruise to see Petra, to see the pyramids, to see Greece, right. and they are trying to make, uh, there, there's lots of options for people that may want, not want to do this too, such as you can get off and rejoin the ship. So Royal right. Caribbean's doing a great job there. And by the way, if anybody from Miami is watching this, thank you very much. Yes. We're happy. So. <laughs> we're, we're delighted. But, well, and we're excited to see these, these new places in Africa. That's right. So you, um, as I mention them, I'll go ahead and put them up on the screen screen here so you can see where they're at. Here's, as Nancy said, where we need help. Right. If any of our wonderful viewers, our phase two flock, as we like to call you guys out there, uh, have been to these places and have recommendations for tours, for things to see, uh, anything related to these ports, please hop in, leave us a comment, and that way we can go and start doing some research because we're planning what we're going to do in each of these ports. It's almost like our viewers out there, you get to vote now. <laughs> we're <laughs> no, looking it, for things to do there that, uh, uh, and we're just looking for the best things to see in these right. ports. Right, it will help us out immensely. I mean, we, we planned for two years for this, the full nine months. We did so much research and so much work and, and what we were going to do in each port. And now we've got just a short period of time to, yep. to, to, uh, replan. to replan, right. yes. So here's the new itinerary. First, I'll put the full itinerary up here on the screen so you can see it. I'll quickly run through it. Uh, so we are stopping in the Seychelles Islands. So we're stopping at Mahe and then at Ladingi so that we have one day and, and we'll mention if we get an overnight. Make an assumption that if we mention a port, we're only there from sometime in the morning to sometime in the late afternoon. And then from the Seychelles, we go to Madagascar. We have one stop there. And by the way, I'm flat out going to say, if I mispronounce these, <laughs> please, you know, yes. please, uh, uh, you know, let us know. But I also want to say that, uh, keep in mind, as you're giving comments and suggestions, try to find things that are relatively close to the port for us and by relatively close mm -hmm. maybe at, at most an hour and a half drive i don't mm -hmm. uh want you know to, to go on a two or three day safari where um or or something that's going to take five or six hours to drive and get back that that's so relatively close to the port for mm -hmm. us right so the next one would be diego Suarez, madagascar mm -hmm. it's right on the northern tip of madagascar then we have a cruising day and then we're going to be going to port louis Mauritius, and uh, we are looking forward to that very much. And then Point de Galais in Re in the uh, in Reunion Island, and again we have one day there, and then we get to South Africa. So we stop at Port Elizabeth for a day, then we stop at Mosul Bay, and then we go to Cape Town, and we actually have an overnight in Cape Town. So if you have some recommendations for things to do in the evening in Cape Town, a dinner, um, something, because we have much more time there. Yes. Uh, we're there from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. the next day in Cape Town. And then we go to uh, Luterans in Namibia, and then to Volvis Bay in Namibia. And then we go on to uh, Luanda, Angola, for a day and then we go to Ghana in Takadori and then we go to Abidjan Ivory Coast and then on to uh, Dakar in Senegal and then on to uh, Tenerife in the Canary Islands and then we go to Gibraltar which is a United Kingdom right there at the bottom of Spain and then we rejoin our original itinerary in Corfu. So again, very quickly, uh, the Seychelles, Madagascar, Mauritius, Reunion Islands, South Africa, Angola, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Senegal, uh, the Cary Islands, and Gibraltar. So um, as you go through those, uh, we would love to get any input that you have. We'll also post this over on Facebook. We'll post the full itinerary so that it, it can be easier for you to go back and look at the itinerary and see what it is. So you can jump over to Living Phase 2 over on Facebook and that'll be an easy place for us to just put a picture of the itinerary. I'll put it itinerary. on Instagram as well. Yes, we'll put it on yeah. Instagram as well. So that way you can look over there. And uh, again, we really appreciate any help. Now, one of the things we wanted to cover here real quick was 
may be hitting a couple rumors that flew around. So as you can see, the World Cruise is not being canceled. That rumor flew around the internet that it was going to be canceled and everything was done and they're going to take us off the ship. And nope, yeah. nope, it, and that it's was continuing. Never even an option. It really <laughs> wasn't. No. Um, also, uh, you know, is there a lot of drama related to this? Um, the word around is that the vote was, let's just say very overwhelmingly to option one. So, you know, while we have very, very good friends who like option two and they may go do something else, we're a hundred percent supportive of them. We think you should go do and travel what makes you happy. That's why we travel. Mm -hmm. And so Royal is giving lots and lots of options to people who may not want to do option one. So they can hop off, they can go up to the pyramids, they can take a trip to Europe, they can do whatever they may want to do and go have an immersive experience somewhere else and honestly i think overall the mood on the world cruise here is very very sport people are actually very excited i believe they are yes. they are i think yeah. i think everybody's well most everybody is, yeah. is yeah. jumping right into this right and that's what we're doing and that's why we're asking yeah. for your help here so we wanted to give you the big news so that you'd get it right away ask for your help and we hope that uh, you can give yeah. that help to yeah. us and, and even the little details so if you've taken a private tour if you have the name of your tour guide mm -hmm. if you try to great food in Africa and you're like oh you've really got to try this yes. you know even the little things um, would be very helpful to us as well so right. Right. thank you well thank you very much and we hope to get your feedback your input and I, we hope you continue to follow us around Africa and to do that be sure to reach down hit that subscribe button give a like and also share this video we usually don't ask that so much but if you can go down and hit that share link because that can get it out to more people to get us more help to help us plan Africa that so. would be greatly appreciated mm -hmm. thanks so much friends have a beautiful day thank Take you bye-bye bye-bye